Hello, YouTube. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. This is Keith, Kevin, Ken. I'm Kevin. And it's time again for another pocket dump deconstruction. I took a bunch of pictures of this. Yeah, I did. Post. I haven't posted it yet. <laughs> I took pictures. I will post the pictures on my Instagram at Keith, Kevin, Ken, at Keith, Kevin, Ken, just like this YouTube channel around noonish, one-ish, or two-ish, whenever I get a chance during lunchtime. Turn my iPhone 6S Plus from photo to video, and now it's time for our daily pocket dump deconstruction. It is Monday, December 12, 2016, and it's cold. Actually, it's not cold yet. It'll be high in the 40s on the east coast of the U.S., but man, when it gets to Thursday and Friday, I love when Apple on an Apple phone shows you the weather and it's just like gusting winds. You know you're in trouble. I think the high is going to reach 20 degrees, 25 degrees. It's getting chilly out here. It is, but it's supposed to. It's Monday, December 12th, 2016. We're midway through December already and that means a couple of weeks away from 2017. Hey, I posted two videos late last night, later last night in the evening. Um, one of them is, of course, our pocket dump deconstruction. You guys know on the weekends those go a little later than they do here on the weekdays when I try to post them before 11 a.m. Go show it some love. Usually the pocket dump deconstructions, a lot of people don't watch them, especially when I do uh, those right after, right after I post one of my mega Spydeco Palooza videos. And I did. I took a look at the new knives that Spydeco is proposing to release next year in their catalog. Yeah, 2017 catalog. I told you 2016 was going to be epic. I posted a video of all the folding knives that Spydeco released this year in 2016. Go check it out. Give it some love. Um, I committed to buying all those knives, and then I'm showing you all the knives and talking about them. That's this year, 2016, that's, I don't know, what, 15, 20 days away from closing down finishing up and moving on to 2017. The post that I did looks at the new knives in 2017 and I use my collection to do it because man, if this year was epic for the 40th anniversary, next year is a collector's, a Spydeco collecting, a uh, Spydeco collector's dream. I mean, my goodness, a new Chinook? Are you kidding me? <laughs> a little temperance? Oh, you get to see my original temperance. You get to see my original Chinook. You get to see my a lot of original um, knives. Besides the fact that they're going to have a new paramilitary that they're calling Para 3 that is going to be having a three-inch blade. Three-inch blade! Yeah, that's in Sage territory. Also, don't forget, you can download the catalog yourself. It's on Spydeco.com. I'm waiting for my paper catalog in the mail. They usually take a while to get to you. But check out the catalog. It's really great to download. It really is. And go check it out because a lot of the knives aren't covered in my video, like the fixed blades and some of the other knives. But I think the video will be fun for you, especially if you wanted to continue to see my Spydeco collection. There's a lot of knives, and I'm trying to find ways of bringing them all to you guys, okay? Okay, enough of that. Let's talk about the pocket dump deconstruction. Today's Monday, yeah, starts all over again, but the good news is this is how we pay for all the good stuff we stuff in our pockets, right? It's Monday. Most of the time, that means my Rolex, my simple Rolex Precision that I just love. It's just a wind-me-up watch, which is so nice. The, uh, <laughs> I have to say this kind of quietly, the band is starting to show wear because last time I said that with 
the gold watch, the it's not gold. It's <laughs> the brown watch that I have of the precision was a long time ago and my kids grabbed it and took it to the to surprise me, took it into the watch shop and I lost my Rolex hardware forever. But that's okay. It was a wonderful thought. Um the cigar for today is a nice little weekday cigar for me. Ah, the Ramon Alones Cuban cigar. Shown design pen. It's the Thai version. Yeah, that means we mean business. I got my Shown design pen ready to go. I've got my thin Mont Blanc wallet, one of them, ready to go. And yeah. We're just doing some blended scotch today. Nothing fancy. Again, I drink after work. I smoke my cigar after work. I sniff it several times during the day. <laughs> I use it as an inside joke when I go, I wish this day would be over. Even when I'm in a meeting, they get the joke because I've been doing it sometimes. I'm not going to stand out in this freezing cold and smoke a cigar. Nah. Cigars are meant to relax while you're thinking about while you're thinking selfish thoughts. <laughs> That's when or partying with friends when you're telling big gigantic lies. Either way. Um let's see. Oh, the coin. Remember yesterday I told you check out yesterday's uh pocket dump deconstruction. I'm doing my um president run. Uh, the U.S. Mint came out with several presidents, I want to say five or six, with special silver coins. They were limited editions. I was lucky enough to grab them all. This one, they're not proof coins, shiny. So even when I give them light, you don't really see them all that well. But this is Lyndon Johnson, the Lyndon Johnson coin. One ounce silver coin, you guys know. I, I'm a collector. But if the silver gets high enough, I used to have bigger collection of silver than knives or anything else. Also a decent collection of gold coins. I just would always buy them. And then silver hit 50, gold hit 4,500. Did you hear me? And I got rid of as many as I could. I just kept the ones I liked. I also have all of the silver eagle coins that the U.S. has made over the years. The regulars, the proof coins... And then I have them all in, in the special series as well, slab two. I just think it's good for my kids, my grandkids to have. Who knows? It might hit 50 again, <laughs> the silver. Uh, but it's just fun. That's a good thing. If you guys are looking at nice gifts for your kids or your grandkids or whoever, buying them a silver eagle coin uh, one ounce silver eagle coin is great. It's really American. Every year, though, every year they release a new one. It's worth what silver's worth. And then a little couple of extra dollars for, off of the premium. Uh, but it's a nice thing. They'll probably start looking forward to it. And also, you're kind of investing in their future. They've got some real silver. Anyway, um... The notepad is my coach pad that I've had for, can we all say it together, over 20 years, about 25 or so. Um, man, I think it's becoming 28. Ugh. Wow, started consulting around 28 years and stuck, a, stuck into it for about eight. And then came inside. Yeah, for the retirement plan and to have a team. And uh, man, I missed the freedom. Um, but you know, working with a good team is always nice too. Settling down every now and then is nice as well. And having a retirement plan, very good. Especially if you're thinking about a sports mobile and traveling around the country, smoking great cigars, eating good food, going to every knife store that I could think of and every knife convention and taking you guys along with me, taking the whole Keith, Kevin, Ken along with me. Uh, that'll be fun, wouldn't it? Traveling the U.S. I'm thinking about one day, 
at first, all my life, I've dreamed about work. I want to go get this work. Oh, I want to do this. Time to leave. Make my way up. Now all I think about is working for fun. Just having fun, learning how to be a photographer and doing that kind of stuff. Anyway, um, enough daydreaming, Kevin. It's Monday. Time to get your butt into work. <laughs> a bunch of meetings that go nowhere. Uh, <laughs> I, I decided to get a to do a smaller carry today. I was thinking about a bigger big knife, and then I decided against it. So let's talk about it. You guys know I love the Spyderco Cricket. Ugh. If you haven't seen my Spyderco Palooza videos, there's a playlist on this channel. Go check them out. A lot of Spydercos. A lot of Spydercos. And I would say we probably have, believe it or not, about four or five more videos to go before we're finished with the complete collection. But we are going to finish it. I promise you. Promise you. I already know what the new, the next one's going to be. But I talk about my crickets, my cricket collection. I have one, a, one of each <laughs> that's available. I really like this one, this blue one. Ah. Oh. It's the Cricut Sprint Run with Blue Necision. The Cricut, of course, with that reverse S blade, that big belly 1.9 inch uh, blade, and a VG10 steel. Just a nice keychain knife. Nice knife to clip on that little pocket, you know, that you have on your jeans. Or... I'll tell you what my friend does, and I would do it too, except uh, I usually just fold up my bills and put it in the middle of my skinny wallet, um, whichever wallet I'm carrying, but he uses it as a clip. Yeah, a bill clip. You know, he even has his credit card and just clips it all there. So when he pulls it out, all they see is this. They don't know what it is. Nice thing, and then he has a knife that's real handy. Decision, of course, is glass fibers smaller than the human hair weave together. Um, and then the decision, the name decision, is really from this pattern. You'll see the gray and black decision handles. Most of them are sprint runs. Same with this blue. Um, and the decision is the pattern. It's a specific pattern for a Japanese kimono kimono just a wonderful knife isn't it with that chris reeve with the frame lock i don't know if that's i guess it is yeah chris reeve integral frame lock just a wonderful knife the medium sized knife oh man you know i love my small gentleman folders and i'll tell you one of my favorite knives from this year did i just get let's see if we can there we go a little better one of my favorite knives this year, the Varengo. Ah, oh, the Varengo. I'm in love with this thing. Titanium with some carbon fiber inset here that gives you a little bit of a grip. This isn't about grip. It feels great in the hand. Look at that. The fingers just place wonderful. Has that recurve and that tanto blade. Ugh. S30V steel. Man, it feels great in the hand. That blade is 2.5 inches of S30V steel. I'm, I, I love this thing. Hollow ground, but just a wonderful knife. Just look at the blue on that titanium. Just the two tones, the darker blue, uh, the darker, the, the grayish colors on the titanium, just full titanium. Oh, man, just flush in the back. Ah, I love this knife. This and the Blue Decision Cricket, this is a really nice combination, I'll tell you. And that's why I switched out the other knife. I had a big knife that I love, and we'll talk about that as the knife that got away. But I just thought, handling those two, that... This small Sabenza 21 would be nice. And then, of course, I had the blue, 
yeah, like I'm some fashion queen or something. I'm not. But anyway, <laughs> um, you guys know I love my Chris Reeve exclusive from knifeart.com, the carbon fiber exclusive. They are just so light. They are light. Really love them. And this one has um, Devin Thomas, Raindrop, Damascus, and look at the blue pins. The stud, yeah, the lanyard pin. Has a special bead as well. Just a wonderful knife. 2.9 inches of that Devin Thomas, Raindrop, Damascus. Man, if, if you're looking to get a Chris Reeve knife and you're thinking about getting just one, Look at KnifeArt.com's exclusive. They're still available. Unlike um, Blade HQ, I love their carbon fiber inlays, but they're out. They Those are exclusive to them. They get a real limited edition. Uh, limited. And I love them, but these are unfrickin' believable. If you're looking at getting one, they, ha they have the um, 25, so Ben's a 25, they have the large and small and cosies. They also have uh, the large and small 21s. So go grab them. They are really one of my favorite sets of knives. Just one of my favorite knives. That, my friends, is the small Chris Reeve carbon fiber Sabenza 21. It's exclusive from knifeart.com. There you have it. That's it. Thumb it up. Go crazy on the thumb ups. Let me know that you're out there and that you appreciate that we do it every single day. Every single day. <laughs> That's right. That's the pocket dumb deconstruction. Thumb it up. Share it. Let people know we're out there and hit that subscribe button. We're making our way to 2000 subscribers. I know we can do it. A lot of my videos have a lot more than 2,000 views, so hit that subscribe button. And once you do, there's a bell. Even if you've already subscribed, look on your page. There's a little bell next to the subscription. Hit that. That'll give you notification when I do some of the special videos. You would have known that I just posted the 2017 product guide video. And more are coming. Trust me, more are coming this week as well, the special videos. Okay, thumb it up, share it, and then subscribe. And of course, I have the nice, pretty one on Instagram at Keith Kevin Kim. But you know what? This ain't Instagram. This is the Keith Kevin Kim YouTube channel. And this is the knife that got away. You know, I've been playing with my Chris Reeve knives, and I've been playing with uh, a lot of spiders last night. <laughs> A lot of spiders. So I got up and I thought about the hinders. And I start going through my hinderer collection. And they're just small. It's a small collection of like five knives. But I love them. I love them. Just big, hardy knives. Great jimping. I like this jimping. Substantial. You know you have jimping, but it doesn't leave your thumb bleeding. You guys know Hinder and their design. This is the Spanto design uh, blade. S35 VN steel, 3.5 inches. It's part of the Hinder XM18 line. XM18 is when the blade is 3 inches or 3.5 inches. This is 3.5 inches. Once it gets to 4 inches, it's an XM24. I don't have one of those. <laughs> big knives but man i was thinking about this this is so smooth look at this and yes it flips out there i love the simple pivot this one shows you what i bought this off of someone in great condition but this really shows you what hinder is about i love the fact that he even sells accessories for you to personalize your knife. I got it like this. I usually don't do that. Uh, I'll let my kids play with the knives and, and make them their own, but this has the brass standoffs included. But man, they have, you know, different clips, different clip 
plates, just really nice. Titanium with the lock, uh, the frame lock on the back, black G10 on the front, and just a wonderful knife that got away. That's it, you guys. Thanks a lot. Hope you have a perfect day, no matter when you watch this. Thanks for giving me so much of your time. I really appreciate it. Keep those pockets full. Goodbye.